Well, my fellow waivers, it looks like the time has come to address the biggest elephant in the room. The question that everyone's been wanting to know the answer to. What is my favorite food? I gotta tell you, I have no idea. I'll eat just about anything. But if I had to choose, I would say baked ziti. So if any of you guys want to help a brother out, be sure to let me know. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Or am I? I've been going crazy. Crazy. Put in, can't play me. Play me. Jesus done save me. Oh no. Can't switch, won't sway me. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be answering one of the most controversial topics within the wave community. That topic being how long should you brush your hair when you have 360 waves? Now, this isn't really so much about how long does it take you to get 360 waves. That question is more so answered in my 360 waves different stages explained video. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. However, this video on the other hand is specifically addressing the fact that you already have waves and how long should you brush those waves on a daily basis. Let's get right into it. So if you guys have been in the wave community for any length of time, I'm sure that you guys have heard these top two popular answers or opinions in terms of this question. Those two answers being anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour is how long you should brush your hair on a daily basis. Now this is a general consensus within the wave community and for the most part, this is a consensus that I myself agree with and adhere to with a couple of exceptions that I'm going to get into later in this video. Now I know what you guys are thinking. 30 minutes a day, one hour a day, who has that type of time? And I wanna tell you guys to calm down and relax because what I'm about to say is going to put you at ease. Keep in mind that because we're talking about a daily time frame, these numbers are strictly how many minutes or hours that you want to dedicate throughout the entire day to brushing your hair. Meaning that you can split up these time frames however you want to, right? So if you wanna brush your hair for an hour a day, you can split it up into two 30 minute sessions or four 15 minute sessions. So you guys don't have to worry, you do not need to brush for an hour a day all in one sitting, unless you just have the arm strength to do so, then salute to you. But since we're on the topic of time, this brings me into my next question, which is which one of these time frames is the most ideal? While the one hour time frame is the most popular consensus within the wave community, the reality of it is, is we all have life responsibilities to tend to. We have jobs, we have businesses, we have school, we have a family to take care of. So even brushing your hair for just one hour a day, even if you split it up, can be troublesome. Whereas 30 minutes a day is a lot more achievable because essentially it's only two 15 minute sessions a day, one in the morning and one at night or however you wanna split it up. Now that we've talked about the popular answers, I wanna quickly address the unpopular answers. Now these unpopular answers range from the low end of the spectrum to the high end of the spectrum. On the low end of the spectrum, an unpopular answer would be 15 minutes a day or even less than that. And on the high end of the spectrum, you're looking at over an hour to two hours to three hours, four hours, even five hours. What? What the f So, of course, that's really, really long. And unless you do that full time, most people aren't going to be able to achieve that. Now, obviously, as you guys have realized by now, there are a lot of different answers to this questions and a lot of different opinions, which begs the question, okay, so what is the true objective answer to this question on how long I should brush my hair? And the answer is, here it comes, it depends. Now calm down, calm down, I'm going to explain why I say that. And really, it depends because of two reasons. Reason number one is because it's going to depend on your wave pattern. And what I mean by that is if you have a 180 pattern or a 360 wave pattern. 
If you're not really sure exactly what these patterns entail, be sure to check out my most popular video on my channel, which is Wave Patterns Explained. It has over 30,000 views, so you want to check that out. But back to the topic at hand. With the 180 degree pattern, because you only have waves at the top of your head, that's less work and less time that you have to do versus having a 360 pattern where you have waves all around your head and now you have to brush the top of your head, the side of your head, the back of your head, and the crown, right? So obviously that's going to take a lot more time. The second reason why the time frame will vary from person to person is because you have the second aspect that most people tend to forget when talking about waving. That aspect is quality, right? And what I mean by that is specifically the quality of your brush strokes. Here's an example. A 15 minute brusher who only brushes their waves for 15 minutes a day, but takes the time to analyze their brush stroke and make sure they're hitting the right angles every single time can make a lot more progress than a one hour brusher who doesn't really take the time to assess their wave pattern, right? So while the duration of your brush sessions are important, the quality of your brush sessions are equally as important, and I'd even argue more important. It's kind of like that saying, quality over quantity. Well, this is kind of the same concept. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, how long do I myself personally brush on a daily basis? And the answer to that question is 30 minutes a day. I break it up into two 15 minute sessions, one in the morning once I get back from working out and another one in the afternoon when I'm applying product to my hair. Now, if I have a lot of downtime and if I just feel like it, then I'll do a third session at nighttime to work on my problem areas. However, usually because I'm simultaneously working on my problem areas during the day, during my earlier brush sessions, I usually don't do a third session. Now, the only time I've ever started going into the 45 minute to one hour threshold is really whenever I'm heavy wolfing and I'm doing a wash and style. And obviously that's because you have to use a hard, medium and soft brush to lay your hair back down so it takes more time. Now obviously my waves are not flawless, however my waves are pretty dope. And all it took for me to get here is just 30 minutes a day, right? So you can see it doesn't take hours and hours and hours to get to where I'm at or even further beyond, right? It doesn't take that long at all, which leads me into my final point, And that is a common misconception in the wave community that unless you brush for multiple hours a day, you're not gonna reach the flawless stage. And I'm here to tell you that that is not necessarily true. While that can speed up your progress, it is not 100% true because again, it goes back to that quality aspect. You can still reach the flawless stage. It may take you a little bit longer, but you can still reach that flawless stage by brushing less than an hour, especially if you use the quality method that I talked about earlier in this video. So that does it for this video. And hopefully I've answered you guys' question on how long should you brush your hair when you have 360 ways. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, be sure to drop them down below. I'm always here and you guys stay safe. Salute to my wave troops. I'm out.